see question number 6 is in figure 7.21 AC is equal to AE. AC this big line is equal to AE. AB is equal to AD. AD is equal to AD and angle BAD. BAD this angle is equal to EAC. EAC this angle. This angle is equal to this angle. Show that BC is equal to BE. BC this complete line is equal to D E this complete line. So first of all you have to analyze the figure from figure which triangles you can take. This is the very most important point. If you know what is figure, how to analyze the figure, which triangles we have to take, then the question is up to you. Question is clear, question is very easy. So the main important point if we have to do BC is equal to BE, then how, then which triangles I have to take? First of all, see that AC is equal to AE. AC is equal to AE. Second thing, AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AD. If I take this particular triangle, then both sides of this triangle are given to be equal. But I don't need this information. I need two triangles in which one side of the first triangle will be equal to first side of the another triangle. So I cannot tri take triangle ABD. If I take triangle ABC, see very carefully, if I take triangle ABC, then BC is the side that I have to prove. Same way, if I take triangle ADE, ADE, then in ADE, BE is the included side that I have to prove. So the very most important point then so let I take triangle A B C and triangle A B E ok in these two triangles first of all A B is equal to A D it is given second thing that given is A C is equal to A E AB of this bigger triangle is equal to AD of this bigger triangle. AC, second side of this bigger triangle is equal to AE, AE, bigger side of this triangle. Now, angle BAD, BAD is equal to angle EAC. This is the given information. Now see, in triangle ABC, you have one side, you have another side. This thing we have to prove. If we have this complete angle equal to another angle of second triangle, then we are done because one side is given, one side is given. And if included angle will be given equal or uh, equal or you can say that this included angle will prove to be equal to another angle then we are done with SAS rule. I can apply SAS rule. So for applying SAS rule I need included angle. But the given information is this BAD is equal to this CAE. If I am taking this complete angle between these two sides of triangle ABC I need to add this angle. I need to add this middle angle into angle BAD. So, see very carefully, I am writing add angle DAC on both sides of equation first. And where is equation first? Let this is equation first. So, in equation first, I am adding angle DAC, this middle part or middle angle in both of the angles. So, DAD plus DAC is equal to angle EAC plus angle DAC. Now, you will ask ma, why these two right hand side or left hand side are equal? Why are they be equal? Because I am adding angle DAC on both sides and if I am adding any same quantity to both sides of an equation, it will not affect the equation. Same way if I am subtracting the same quantity.
are adding, that you are subtracting, or that you are multiplying, the quantity must be same. I am adding a equal dAc on both sides, so it will not affect my original equation. Now, angle dAd, dAd plus dAc. This plus this, which angle will become angle dAc? I can write in place of these two angles. I can write angle dAc. Same way. The new angle will be EAD. This angle plus this angle will be equal to this angle. And this angle is angle EAD. Very good. Now see very carefully. I have this side equal to this side. I have this side equal to this side. I have this angle is equal to this angle. So by side angle side or side angle side, you can say that triangle A. BC is congruent to triangle ADE by side angle side rule. Okay, and after this step, you can say if two triangles are congruent, it means corresponding all of the six corresponding parts, three angles and three lines will be equal. So after this step, I can write BC. BC is the side of this triangle ABC. So I can write BC is equal to BE. Corresponding to BC, I have BE. So BC is equal to BE and reason will be by CECG. So this was the question. See, question was very easy. Just you have to analyze the figure. If you are able to analyze the figure, what is given and what is required to prove and which triangles you have to take, then the question will be very easy. See, very easy. Important point is just the middle angle or the middle part you have to add in both of the angles that are given already to be equal and you are done with the question. Okay?